So it's 3 a.m. Uh, quite early, haven't slept, taught my classes, did training in the morning. I'm a bit tired, but not too bad. I had worse. Uh, I'm preparing to go to Scotland to the Spear PDR, Personal Defense Readiness Trainers Course. Really excited. I did a lot of prep work for it. I have my wonderful dog, Grinchy, who's showing his butt. I mean, there you go. I'm sure he's gonna be sad that I'm not here. Anyway, <laughs> back to the course. We're really looking forward. I'm gonna film the whole journey. I'm gonna do some interviews, let you know what I learned, how was my experience with the program. Just keep going with the video and I'll meet you either in the airport or in Scotland. See you soon. So after about 20 hours of traveling, I am in Edinburgh ready for my course tomorrow so I still have a bit of time to rest. I didn't rest much during the trip. I did a lot of exercises, I trained them for the, the whole seminar. I went through all the preload material. So far I really love it. A lot of great stuff. I have a bunch of questions that I'm interested to answer but so far I really dig the system. I really see a big potential in it. I think I mentioned maybe that I even need some relationship to it you know, in a good way, not in a bad way. I'll tell you more about it later. Happy to be here. Tomorrow evening this course starts. Also I started reading The Gift of Fear, a really great book. It was recommended to me by Matt Thornton and I also heard Tony Barr, the creator of Spear System, really highly regard the book so far. I'm really enjoying it. My intention is to really dig myself deep into the self-defense, understanding what self-defense is. And hopefully this trip is gonna change a lot of things. So I'll meet you tomorrow at the course. I arrived to the location where the seminar the course will happen we're gonna go from five to nine today so i'm not gonna waste much more time here talking to you about nothing i'm gonna go in do a lot of training and then after the seminar passes after today's course i'm gonna share whatever great stuff i experienced and let you know so it's 12 a.m i'm back next to my hostel where i live after an evening course from five to ten so far, I have to say I'm really loving it, uh, really enjoying it. You know, I have developed a critical mind for the last, especially year, in terms of perceiving what's BS, also perceiving what's what's fake. And uh, interesting enough, when I look at many self-defense courses uh, or martial arts, the spider sense really starts to tingle. It's like, oh, this is bullshit. That's weird. Ah, this is questionable. But here, I have to be, I'm, I'm totally honest with you, uh, for the whole four hours of the course, not only the material, but also the, the coaches are really great, uh, really loving them so far. Uh, they both have experience as, they are both officers and have been doing this for many years. So I'm listening to them speaking, listening, which, looking at the exercises, doing the exercises, and not even once I had this moment of, what the fuck? You know, not even once where it was a moment where I was like, I'm not sure about that. When I was doing the preload uh, course, when I was looking at the material, reading it, looking at the videos, I had a few moments, I was like, well, but then when I would dig in, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And now I do have a lot of uh, things in my mind already, and whenever they say something, I'm like, oh, that makes sense, that makes sense. So not even once my spider sense went on. Who knows, tomorrow's a long day, from nine to five, we're gonna do training, intensive training. Maybe something is gonna come up where my spider sense is gonna come on. Uh, but I don't know, so far I'm really loving it. Uh, I do know some people criticize the spear system for uh, that it's it's a beginning and then, then what's next. Uh, I'm still open to that question. I mean in terms of like uh, the flinch comes in, you, you weaponize it, you defend yourself and then what, what happens then? I think I heard one of the coaches saying that that's what we're going to explore tomorrow and uh, I'm keeping my eyes open, I'm keeping my ears open. If I see something strange, I'm going to let you know. But so far, it's been really good and I'm looking forward to go to bed. Hey everyone, so uh, it's windy, so I had to find some strange, weird corner where I could maybe test out my new spear skills. <laughs> I'm joking, I think this is fairly safe here. Anyway, so it's the end of third day. I'm very tired, but also very inspired. We did nine hours of training, a lot of drilling today. I'm still excited. I'm, I'm still very happy about the program. It, it's interesting because normally a lot of the self-defense stuff I would do in the past, or especially martial arts, or even combat sports, they would oftentimes uh, make me ask more, create more questions than answers. Like, yeah, but what about that? Yeah, what about this? Probably first time in my life I'm going for a program which actually answers more questions than it creates 
they're great. And yeah, there are some questions which came up for me, like what about multiple opponents, what about you know, knife, what about gun, although gun is not necessarily the biggest thing for my country, but, but still those questions come up, and as far as I know, it is, these questions are answered in the more developed programs, this is just the fundamentals. But besides that, a lot of the questions which normally I would have, okay, what would I do in this situation, I really got settled. I was kind of expecting that, but I think my expectations were surpassed. Uh, a good example was yesterday I was going from the course uh, to grab the bus, and in the bus stop uh, there was a group of teenagers, like a gang, uh, maybe five or six, and they were very violent. They were kicking everything and hitting everything. They were upset about something and just um, in a conflict with the bus. And normally in such a situation, I would handle myself, but then there would be this anxiousness, there would be this doubt, okay, so damn it, if they attack me, if he hits me with a haymaker or something, what am I going to do? How am I going to protect myself? What technique will I do? Will I do this? Will I do that? And that anxiousness would be there. But with the spear training, knowing that the flinch is there, the natural reaction can be weaponized, and I was taught how to do it. There was a lot of confidence there, but the knowing that, okay, if he punches me, the flinch is going to come up, and I'm going to protect myself, and then the Aikido skills even can come in, and I felt confident. I was like, oh, whatever, you know, we can, if you hit me, I have an answer. And that kind of confidence was rarely ever in my life, even with some advanced training. It even brought back some hope about Aikido, so yeah, it's... So far, it's very good. Alrighty, so it's a bit windy, so I hope you guys are not uh, deafened by the sound of the wind. I think not. So, it's daylight, as you see, since I finished today a bit earlier, not 12 a.m. It's been the last day of the spirit training course. I'm really tired, but also still very energetic, really excited. First of all, what I really love in terms of the approach of the instructor's course, of, of the trainer's course, is that the spear, it was very clear that this is just a load up. There's a lot of drills, a lot of material that it gave, but the team was very clear to communicate that this is just the beginning, that you still need to die, you still need to do the exercises, you still need to read more, learn more, that it's, it's as they say, it's an endless onion which you keep peeling off and peeling off and there's still layers upon layers, uh, which I really appreciate because I think a lot of courses are like, oh, you did this course, hey, there's a certificate, you're done, you know, teach and give us money. But this was, this is really honest in terms of explaining that I give, I received so much. Uh, and I think I told yesterday that in a lot of courses, you just kind of build up more questions. Like Aikido created so many questions in me, like what if this happens? What if this technique doesn't work? What if that happens? What if the guy attacks like this? What about this situation? But with Spear, probably the first time in my life that after a course, so many answers got answered and rather than building up more questions only a few questions left I mean yes the multiple attackers the knife defense uh, I can kind of figure out the answer with myself I'm gonna ask uh, for support after you become a trainer you can receive support from other trainers uh, so I'm gonna definitely dive into the subject and I know it's uh, I think it's on, on another level as I said yesterday but besides those few questions which are left so much more confidence now that I have so many answers were answered to a lot of issues, a lot of questions which I had for years. So in all honesty, I am really impressed by the program and I don't know, maybe I'm biased, but it's 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 weird. It's it's it would be surprising because I, I am very critical. I, I don't like bullshit. But this program really just went straight into my heart. I will stay conscious, I will stay open, I will stay still look at where could be the weak links of it, I'm sure there are. Try to figure out it, try to listen to people of what criticism they say. Uh, one of the criticism was that it's more of the approach of what happens when you're initially attacked, but then you don't get skills how to deal against certain difficult extra attacks. But it was very clearly, from the very first pre-manual that I read, it was very clearly said that Spear is a bridge for your tools to kick in. That it's more about the pre-contact and the initial contact, and still I received some really great tools what to do after, uh, as it follows, but then it doesn't deny that there are other martial arts skills or combat sports skills which then, then click in, but it's a great bridge in between. That's that's what I feel. It was, it's a bridge to many skills that I developed before, but I just didn't know how to, how to utilize. Honestly, I think probably the biggest critique is 
because of its simplicity, but it's, at least in my language, it's in my native tongue, it said, the genius lies in the simplicity, that simplicity doesn't mean that it's bad. I think it's, yeah, I think one of the issues that people may have with this peer system, as far as I perceive, is that it's not so sexy. You know, it's not like, oh, look, if this attack comes, there's this answer, and if this attack comes, there's this answer, and blah, blah, blah. It's not as sexy. I mean, the stance, uh, I love it. I fell in love with it. But when I saw it first, it was a bit like a T-Rex standing. It was like, first I was, that was the moment where I was like, whoa, okay. But I trusted it. I was like, we have to have a for it. And they totally convinced me with it. But it's not a sexy stance. Uh, it, it looks a bit funny from the side. Uh, and the movements, they're not like super difficult or something so it's not like that like the complexity is not there which would bring that sexiness into it and I think maybe that's why a lot of people have doubts about it because that sexiness is not there but for me that's brilliant because Aikido is quote unquote sexy in terms of so many different beautiful movements but the beauties the complexity never helped me by any means in, in terms of self-defense. So anyway, I will still have more to say. I'm gonna make an in-depth review when I come back home, I have digested everything, but I'm looking forward to hear your comments, what you have to think. Do you think they hypnotized me? Do you think they brainwashed me? <laughs> or honestly, well, I totally don't feel that way, but I'm curious to hear what, what you think. Do you think I'm biased in a bad way or whatever? Just let me know, let me know what you think. Maybe there's something I don't see. It was a blast to share this experience with you and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the virtual mat again soon.